true art believers and welcome to the number one live art streamer in the world this is Pearson here and you are watching day 114 of 200 days of drawing got your I got myself a why don't I don't got myself I am going to produce another cactus drawing for you today and I'm going to try to describe to the best of my capabilities of what I'm doing what, what I'm thinking and why I'm doing it sometimes some days are better than others but you know you try your best with what you have at the time uh, before I begin I want to announce that I am having an art giveaway for those whoa go away <laughs> people are texting me I thought I put I thought I put the settings on like airplane mode but, but i didn't do that so i'm gonna get like interrupted with text um i'm hosting an art giveaway for those that are interested all you have to do is subscribe to my youtube channel uh and enter through the link that is provided that's scrolling be right right down there it's kind of moving to the left there you go scrolling around yeah it's also right here so whatever it's like there it is right here in between my hands you just enter that URL and you just submit your information and then you'll be submit you'll be entered in and you'll receive a you receive a a uh, message saying hey thank you for submitting uh, entering the the, the the contest you will receive a, a notification July 1st who who won um, so all you have to do is subscribe to the YouTube channel and and, and enter there and that's it um, no like nothing else all right so let's get started today i want to uh get this drawing done because i got a few things i got to get done prior to uh this evening and um you know want to have a... there we go let's start this all right thank you very much let's begin so... all right so Let's put the timer on here. So I'm gonna draw for 30 minutes. And um, what I've done already is you can't see it. You can't see what I've done because it, I mean, it's only showing a little bit, but I am going to uh, press G and then I'm going to basically add a background tone. What have I done? Uh, have I done a red tone lately? Let's do a red tone. Let's do a red tone. Yeah, we're going to work with a red tone today. And um, let's start with the outline using a hard edge brush, which is kind of, it's kind of transparent, right? Uh, it, it gets more dark the more the heavier you press. So right now I'm pressing really light, and then I press a little heavy and so forth. So, and I'm going to shrink down the brush so it's small. There we go. Wait, we got to go back to that color. Redo. Now, what I'm going to do is I've been thinking about this as of today. Is we're going to do like a, a flat kind of cactus, like the cactus. That's like going to be. It's going to be like those those flat looking cactus or cacti, and I'm going to do two of those. And then I'm going to do like a little bitty ball cactus, I guess. Just kind of put them in there. And um, I'm just going to kind of do the same thing that I did from the previous one, from like the, the last, not like two cactus drawings prior to this. So very similar to the ones that I've done already. You know, you're going to find that it, um, I'm going to do pretty much the same thing over and over again, just different iterations of them, you know. I think this one I'm going to have just uh, this here. And then um, just do a simple little cactus right here with the same type of shape. And then I want to do like a, um, like one of those ovalish ball cactus right here. So it's kind of like just it's like a little bitty cactus, you know, right there. So it's like in a plant like shape. Or no, it's a plant-like shape, but um, it's going to be in a plant little container. So that's what I'm going to do here. Now I've had some, I had some thoughts about maybe doing a sky, 
or doing something sky like. So I think I might do that this time. I'm going to go a little bit different than before. So we do something a little bit sky like this time. We're going to do a little we're going to do like a little bitty um I'm just going to do something like this. Like like some clouds. Like this like maybe three clouds or something like that. All right, we're going to have like a, a little sky going on here just for fun. And now we're going to leave that alone. We're going to go do a background shape, something I've been doing late. For those who have been watching, you see me do this often as a, a, a background shape. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do a, a tone that's going to complement the overall red background. And that's going to be, you know, like we're just going to do a sky blue. But before, I forgot to do this. I like to after I do my drawing, I tend to make the drawing a little bit larger. And then what I do is I center it. So I select the entire pa uh, like painting or piece and then I do anal align layers to selection. You know, I do that vertically and I do that horizontally. So, so it's centered into the composition. And then I lock the layer so I don't mess, around, mess it up. Now I'm going to go to this uh, layer section I call background shape. Very simple. It's pretty much what it means. It's, gonna, it's like a background shape, basically. And I'm just going to make a... Um, what I've been doing lately is been doing these um, kind of like five... These five angled shapes here. And then um, tightening them up and sharpening them with a hard edge. So that's what I've been doing with this. Got to move this. Um, you might see my mouse moving on the right side here. It's, you can't see it, but I'm I'm trying to move my um, my little color tab or whatever you call it, like my brush preset selection toolbar thing. So now I'm going to go to an eraser. I got to find it. It's like this uh, square eraser. Oops, I don't want to do that right now. I'm going to make it larger. And we just uh, do something like this. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. I like that little I like that little jagged part right there. Yeah, we're gonna do that too, because I, I I'm um I'm gonna think about having the clouds kind of come out of that composition. Yeah, we'll do it like that. So as you can see, I've I've left that like like it's purposely not straight. So I kind of like that. Um now, normally I center the, the background shape as well, but lately, because the shapes become so awkward, I decided that I'm not going to center them that much because I don't want to, um, I want them to be coordinated with the comp the, the shape of the, uh, the, the, the cactus in the pot and so forth. Uh, so I think that's the, 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 that's in our good spot right now. I'm going to rename my group as cactus. I'm going to close that, minimize that area so I don't mess with it. Now, now for the very easy stuff. Very easy. If I can get this drawing done in a short amount of time, we're looking at um, probably 30 minutes. I'm already making good time as it is. So I'm, I'm very thankful for that. All right, so we're going to do um, kind of a grayish brown. I've been thinking about doing more muted tones. Now we're going to do the sand. Uh, it's going to be like a it's going to be like a grayish yellow. Just a very it's kind of might want to say like ugly yellow really. And then the same thing with the cactus. We're going to go 
with a um, ooh yeah we're we're going for a more muted cactus because I've been doing a lot of hypersaturated cacti lately and totally forgot but we need this is something I I didn't do last time but I'm gonna make another layer and I'm gonna label it cactus two because I had um previously I had done like two different cactuses that had different green tones on it and i found that it was becoming it was very hard to separate them so we're gonna do two cactuses one with a like that and the other one's not uh like that tone so now all right we're going to use the eraser and we're going to erase these tones very simple I've gotten this this down to a science, actually. It's where I can get this done in a very short amount of time. So I'm going to zoom in. Just kind of, we're going to erase the um, the box shape here. And I've gotten to the point where I don't even care if it's kind of irregular. I actually kind of like it that way. That like irregularness. Um, it it for one thing, it makes it kind of fun to have like this kind of irregular lines, but also it um, really helps speed up the time frame with my drawing because I, if I'm trying to get this perfect each time, I typically, you don't want to be spending all this time. Like if you want to have it perfect, you're going to be investing more time on getting all these shapes straighter. Uh, and right now I'm actually enjoying the process of them being kind of like, mm, not, not straight you know and it saves me a little bit of time all right now we're going to go and remove the sand the sand i are going to try to remove the sand i was on the wrong layer what was it those jokes that i hear people are those like memes where uh i've been working on I've been working on the same this drawing for days, and I found out that I was working on the wrong layer, and that's not like a, that's like a joke that only artists know or like digital artists understand. So that's why I'm pretty organized with my layers, or at least I think I am. I'd like to think I am. I don't know. I'm just doing quickly. I'm just re quickly removing all these shapes. As you can see, and then after the afterwards, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to go back and do a little corrections to what I see, what what I think needs to be done. You know, sometimes I'll I'll need to adjust certain things so they look a little bit better. I'm not expecting it to be perfect. As a matter of fact, given the 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 type of things that I'm doing right now. I don't want it to be perfect. I'd rather it be less perfect, actually. You know what I didn't do? I didn't add the clouds. So we're going to have to do a quick layer here let's layer clouds so this is the, actually the clouds are, are going to be are actually going to add time but before i do my clouds let's just get these the cactus all all these uh forms kind of erased so they get those out of the way and then we can do the correction after the fact correct any areas that need to be trimmed up and fixed all right that's good. Now we're going to go to clouds. Actually, we got one more cactus. We're just going to kind of go around here real quickly. And then we're going to go to clouds. I'm going to add I guess we're going to add some um some um, white clouds here. We're just gonna kinda 
add them here. And we'll put them um, behind. All right, just a little simple clouds here. Now get the eraser. All right, eraser. I'm going to zoom in here and quickly erase these clouds. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do this next time. I don't know if I want to. Because this is going to be like this is like an afterthought, and I don't know if I'll have the with this afterthought. I don't know if it's going to be a good idea. Just really quickly drawing them out. Just kind of doing a quick little erase. All right, I think that'll be, I think that's good. All right, so now we have the flats done here. Now what we gotta do is we're gonna e remove the outline so we can see what these things look like. The clouds kind of look interesting like that. You know, I might leave them like that. Um, just leave those clouds there like that. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna fix the sand. Definitely going to fix the sand, and I'm going to fix the the cactus. So we got to get this something like that. There we go. And I think I might like that cactus, the, the, the light green one like that, but the, the main cactus needs to be uh, addressed. So we're going to go to that one right, right now and use um, Go back to the, the shape that we have here. All right, so here we go. We're just going to tighten up some of these lines here. Cactus too, maybe, maybe with this kind of. All right, now we got our shapes here, and maybe what I want to do. Let's. What if I make the tr the clouds more. Trent, nah, I don't know. I don't know if I like the clouds. I'm gonna leave them there and figure out what um how I want to do clouds in the future. Um, I'm gonna leave those clouds in there. I will play around with them, but I don't know how much I want to play around with them. So let's kind of back out here. Now we got our shapes here. Let's go to the background. We're gonna do our our little magic here. And we're About 12 minutes away. Maybe make the. All 
Oops, I don't know what I did. Okay. There we go. Now. And now we're going to go do something completely different. It was just something like, do something like a, I like to do like something like this. Maybe, uh, okay. All right. So we'll do that. Not worry too much about that. Yeah. Don't know what I want to do about the clouds. I think I'll leave it like that. It's going to leave those clouds kind of like that. And maybe I'll even. All right. There we go. Now the background's done. Don't want to overdo it. Don't want to do that. No, I, what I've done here is I've, I don't know how I did that, but I did it. So we're going to go out here and see if we can back out. There we go. All right. I'm losing sight of where, where I'm at. I gotta look up history. So right now, I'm I'm messing around with my history, and I can't seem to figure out what I did. Create clipping mask. What? Well, Mostly like that. There we go. Release the clipping mask. That's what I wanted to do. I didn't know what I did there for a second. So I was like, what is going on with this layer? You know? Okay, so now, now it's time to work on the, uh, the box. Sorry about it. It took a little while. This is what happens when you try new things. I want to do some clouds there. I don't really like the clouds, and I'm just going to keep them because it's going to, it's just going to cost more, um, um, like, it's going to take more mental process to, to um, fix it than it is just to, you know, leave it alone. So we're just going to go through this really quick.
You're gonna put a little bit of pink in there for fun. And the layer. So what you're doing, what you don't see me doing is I'm just I'm like adding a ton of layers and just um yeah, I'm adding a ton of layers here. There we go. Add an internal layers with clipping, um, uh, like layer clipping masks. You know what? I'm going to leave it that, that yellow. Why not? There we go. Very simple, something like that. I don't like this one as much. I, I, got, I got a little bit more experimental with the colors and adding like these these clouds, which was more steps than normal. And I had a few issues, you know, a few things that I'm doing a little bit differently. I'm, I'm being a little bit more adventurous with some of this stuff. Like, um, I'm using, I'm not keeping the hues or the coloring the same. Yeah, I'm being a li I'm being a lot more experimental, and I didn't do that on the right layer, but that's fine. We'll just delete that layer. I don't need that layer because I didn't use it. I didn't use this layer either. So now we're we're just gonna go in the cactus, cactus one and cactus two, and this is why it's gonna take longer than normal is because I have to um, do two cactus drawings as opposed to one. Really quickly. Don't do that. So all I'm doing now is uh, with a layer clipping mask, I'm just quickly doing like these uh, these uh, kind of like oversimplified highlights and then low lights. And then after that, I'm gonna do the, the texture using the texture brush. Do that on another layer and we're going to try to knock this out real quick
so I'm not trying to overthink it this time. Because of the limited time frame, I'm actually going overboard because I spent a little bit too long. Um, I spent a little bit too long on the um, on some other things. I tried a few different things today. You know, I tried adding like a little bit of a background and try to see what I can do with that with the limited amount of time that I had. Um, I've tried a different color palette that is something that I wasn't really wasn't going i didn't anticipating i didn't think i'd be doing you know so i did a different color palette and i think that's kind of changing things up like i did a, a lot of different things today the color palette and the awkward choice of colors is really change like like kind of throwing me off I wasn't expecting that it would, it would throw me off this much, but it's just like, this feels awkward. And so sometimes uh, when it feels awkward, you want to lean into that a little bit. Got to zoom in some more. And let's draw this straight up and down. So that's time, but I'm... I'm behind, so we got to get this... We got to get this done, so I'm not going to, I can't stop. All right. So. For some reason, there we go. All right, let's do this cactus. We're just going to go sh jump right into it. Really. All right, man. This is something new. I never really, I don't really typically make the, uh, that brush, the brush that small.
All right. Now, what I want to do is I really, really want to push this dark tone right here. Even though it's not that dark, I'm going to push it right here a little bit so that it pushes the other cactus forward a little bit. And I think I'm done. Uh, one other thing I want to do a little bit is on the sand right here, I'm going to make the sand a little bit darker so that it separates from the, there we go. There we go. So it separates from that form a little bit. So that's what I want to do. Now the last few things is we just zoom out real quick. Bada bing, bada boom. Actually, not not a very slow drawing, not a fast drawing. And now uh, we're going to do one more thing, one more layer. I'm going to quickly do this. Do the uh, do the thorns. And then we're going to sign it, call it a day. I was going to mess around with the the um, the clouds, but I think the clouds are fine. And I'm probably going to zoom out. Let's do some thorns. Very simple thorns. Don't overthink it. Because I got to get out of here. You know, it's just. I'm um, I'm running a bit behind today, and you know, everyone knows how that is. When you when you're running behind, you you get that you get that like it's like an itch. You can feel it. You're like, oh gosh, I got I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go, fellas. And perhaps in the future, I'll make like a brush stamp or something. Like I'm, I could just do like a, uh, a little brush, uh, like a, a, a thorn brush where I just kind of sweep it and it does like a, it does the brush, it does the thorns itself. I should do that. I'm going to lurk up how to do that. So where it, it just kind of does it randomly. That'd be fun. Save myself a minute. This more looks more like a watermelon than a cactus. We're gonna we're gonna erase these, and we're gonna do a little bit more of an organized. thorns like they're we're going to bundle these up with like v's so it's not random all right and let's sign let's so that is that Look at that. Had a few new things done today. Going to lock this layer. And we're going to go to signature. And we're going to go right here. And we're going to just do something like this. And we're going to zoom in. And we're going to go uh, P21, and it's going to be um, 114 out of 200. And then you zoom out, bada bing, bada boom. We got it done in roughly 40 minutes. 
Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Um, thank you so much for the watching. Um, I really do appreciate each and every one of you. What I want you to, what if you're, sorry, let me look backtrack for a second. If you're interested in uh, participating in my art giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and or Twitch channel, whatever platform you're watching on. Subscri subscribe or follow and enter through the URL that's scrolling below, aka www.mattpearsonart.com backslash art dash giveaway. And it should send you there to a special a special link. You can't go to my website and find it. It's a hidden link. So you gotta type in that 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 URL correctly to enter. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. You're watching the number one live art streamer in the world. This is Pearson. Have a wonderful day. Cheers. Bye.